Hey guys, Shane Storms with DrawerMotorX.com. As you all know, S-Off and Unlock Bootloader is now available for the Verizon variant of the HTC One M8. Today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve permanent root. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to first flash a custom recovery. In this video we're flashing Clockwork Mod Recovery and then from Clockwork Mod Recovery we will flash the Super SU Zip by Chainfire. That will bring us to permanent root. Now if you did apply the weak sauce temp root, you'll want to totally unroot your device. Uh, you can delete the weak sauce application and then you can go into super su okay and then if you get this message there is no su binary installed it means that you are uninstalled so whenever you uninstall the weak sauce application that takes away your root uh, so here we can basically just uninstall that application it will be reinstalled whenever we flash our super su zip so once that's uninstalled we're now totally unrooted we need to go into developer options and turn on our usb debugging so you go into settings, uh, about phone, software information, uh, you'll find the build number, and you'll just double click that until you're a developer. Okay, once you've unlocked your developer options, we'll go in there and make sure that they are turned on and that USB debugging is checked. From there, we can just plug in our device to the computer. You do have to have ADB set up. Uh, you can either download the entire SDK or you can download the ADB and Fastboot files. So in the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. This is the unofficial Clockwork Mod Recovery by Invisiblech. Uh, you can download that here. It also gives you the commands that need to be typed into Terminal to install the recovery on your device. So we'll go into Terminal and you'll need to CD into uh, whatever folder you have your ADB and Fastboot files stored in. For me, that's users and then the, I've got it on the desktop in the Android folder and all of my SDK files are stored in the Android folder so I just went into the platform tools folder that's where I have my ADB and Fastboot so once we're in the correct folder we will type ADB reboot boot loader okay your phone should automatically begin to reboot into the boot loader uh, you'll see that now we are in the boot loader so from here we should be able to type Fastboot flash recovery and then we'll type the name of the recovery so if you go into the folder where it is you can just copy and paste the name of the recovery that way you get it all correct and then we'll hit enter that will begin to send the recovery to the phone and flash it so now that we've flashed it onto the phone you can either reboot back into the OS by uh, typing fast boot reboot or you can go to your phone and enter into the new recovery to flash your okay, super so from user. the bootloader i will enter the h boot just by it's already highlighted so we'll just press the power button and then we will scroll down to recovery and hit the power button again that will reboot our device into clockwork mod recovery where we can flash our super su.zip for root okay so here we will just go to install zip and then we'll go choose zip from sd card Then we'll go down to our download folder. If you downloaded it directly to your device, um, I'll also be sure to include a link in the description where you can get the Super SU Zip, but you'll want to download it from your device and then it'll end up in this download folder here. You saw that it had to go to zero first and then the download folder. So we'll go ahead and select that. And we're looking for the update Super SU version 1.94.zip. And we'll say yes install. Okay, as soon as that's finished, we'll go back and reboot the system. Okay, so as soon as the device boots back up, we'll just check in our app drawer to make sure that we have Super SU, which we do. And then we'll go into the root checker just to verify that we do have root access. Verify root, and it shows that we do have root access. It's asking for uh, super user permission. We'll go ahead and grant that. It says, congratulations, this device has root access. Uh, so this is the method for permanently rooting the HTC 1M8. I'm also be sure to include a link in the description, like I said, for the root files, for the recovery files, and also I'll, I'll be sure to include links to vi uh, the video on how to S off, how to weak sauce, temporary root your device, and uh, any other video that pertains to this. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. You can find more of me at drawermotorx.com. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.